Okay, Miss Ellie and I are on a Sunday afternoon hike. Say hi, Elle. Hi. We haven't been out at all this year yet, so we decided we would do a celebratory hike today since our volleyball team won districts this past weekend. So we're gonna show you a picture of the sign of the trail that we're gonna hit. Janine's Forest Indian Ford Recreation. And uh, we are heading this way to the trailhead. And we're gonna, we haven't quite decided how far we're gonna go today, but um, we are planning on cooking a meal on trail to give Ellie a- Energy booster. An experience she hasn't had yet. She wanted to do that last time and I forgot my stove. propane and my stove. So we're all set today. And the dehydrated meal is a mountain house spaghetti. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna walk you up here to the mile marker sign. And uh, then we're gonna get our uh, all trails set and hit the trail. Oh, here we go. So this is the Pioneer Trail, and we are going to go at least to Knight's Landing, possibly Ellis Ford, and then we will come back. And uh, the kiosk is there, and the uh, trail's right there. So here we go. Beautiful day. Look at that blue sky. Check out Miss Ellie coming. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. How's it going so far? Good. I'm starting to work out my sweat. Oh, it's starting to get to you, huh? Got yeah. a little bit of elevation change here, don't we? Yeah. Well, we have just gotten started on the Pioneer Trail. It's like 67 degrees out. We're wearing bright colors because it is hunting season right now. So, but man, what a beautiful day. And uh, skies are bright blue, as you can see. And um, the leaves are starting to cover the trail up, which is kind of cool. But we are loving this day perfect day on a hike and you can see the trail is just beautiful so gotta navigate around but the pioneer trail is a blue blaze and we are blue blazing it today so we started at indian ford we're going towards Knight's Landing, and we may go past Knight's Landing to the next road before we turn around. We'll decide that once we get to Knight's Landing. Right, Ellie? Yeah. Decide how we're feeling. Okay, we're walking through the camp site called Bluff Campsite. And they do have a trail down to the water. We're not gonna do that today, but we may stop back here on the way back, which is just like a mile and a quarter from where we started so that we can fix that spaghetti. So Miss Ellie can taste that dehydrated mountain house meal. I'm not hungry right this second. Maybe you walk for another hour or so. Yeah, well, that's what I said when we come back this way. We've got a nice picnic table and a fire ring. And then there is a trail right here that takes you down to the water 100 yards. And then this will bring you back to the main trail. Well, we're coming up to a new bridge that was not here the last time. We are at McIntosh Branch. And before you would go down that way, and the last time we did this, Ellie tried leaping over the creek 
and fell. It didn't get hurt and didn't really get too dirty, but this is a nice addition. Water's not too deep and it would d definitely be possible to make the leap, but after a lot of rain, I'm sure this would be really pleasant and I'm sure that this is helping eliminate some of the erosion. So, really sweet. There you go. I fell down that water. Yes, you did. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Well, that was nice. It was a good addition. All right. Don't see any water here, but definitely looks muddy. Let's see Miss Ellie go. You got this girl. <laughs> Celebration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. This one has a cable on it if you want to use it. What? This one has a cable on it. Yeah. You know, you can put your hand on it. This one's got some water in it. Look how clear that water is. Awesome. Just beautiful. Natural Florida. At its best. And we're coming up to another sign. And a little bench. This is Budding Branch. And we, we have, have gone 1.65 miles. Point That's exactly what my watch says. Ellie, what does your watch say? 1.69. Okay, well. We have 0.85 miles to go. That's right. Well, we are coming to the first, well, we're finishing the first leg of this trail. And we are... Um, I don't know if this is, oh, this is Knight's Landing. So the next leg is Ellis Ford, and that's two and a half miles from here. So we're going to sit over here on this log that we did last time and take a little bit of a break. And then we will decide whether we're going to go to Ellis or whether we'll turn around. So... There's a nice little thing over there. We might sit over there. This is one of my favorite parts of this trail. Nice and wooded. I mean, it's all wooded, but this is really dense. So everyone, this is my friend, Ellie. She is actually one of our volleyball managers, but I've known her for a really long time. Both of her sisters played volleyball for me and I'm really good friends with her mom, and so she is one of my hiking buddies, and she is my videographer for our volleyball team. So I'm going to interview her today and ask her a couple questions. So she hikes with me a lot. So Ellie, what is your favorite thing about going hiking? Well, it's therapeutic. So what is that? how does it make you feel when you're out in the woods? Um, I feel calm, and I feel like that there's no distractions around me and no demands around me okay and we don't normally go hiking in the summer we did get caught in the rain one time but do you like hiking in the summer or in the fall better i like hiking in the fall why because it's a lot, a lot cooler than the summer and what else don't we have we don't have bugs we don't we have don't, as many bugs right we don't have many bugs right and then, what was the next question I wanted to ask well, I'm you? I'm wearing orange. Yeah, tell us why you're wearing orange today in October. It's hunting season. Right. It's not because she wants to look like a pumpkin, <laughs> right? It's hunting season. But have we heard any gunshots today? No. Nope, we haven't. I was out here last weekend and I heard some gunshots. But we still want to wear bright colors. So I'm wearing fluorescent pink. 
and she is wearing bright orange, right? Yeah. Anything else you want to tell these people? What if somebody was thinking about coming out here to do a hike and they've never done it before? Is this a safe place to go? Do you feel safe out here? Yes, I feel safe. Yeah. And do we ever see a lot of people out here? No. Nope. Have you seen any animals out here yet since you've been out here with me? No. Well, no. I saw a deer one time. One time, right? So we don't see a lot, but they're out here. So, well, Ellie, look at the camera and say hi. Hi. And thank you so much for letting me interview you. Always go hiking with a buddy. That's right. That's good don't advice. Don't go by yourself. Okay. All right. Thank you. So everyone, this is my friend, Ellie. She is actually one of our volleyball managers, but I've known her for a really long time. Both of her sisters played volleyball for me and I'm really good friends with her mom. And so she is one of my hiking buddies and she is my videographer for our volleyball team. So I'm gonna interview her today and ask her a couple questions. So she hikes with me a lot. So Ellie, what is your favorite thing about going hiking? Well, it's therapeutic. So what is that? How does it make you feel when you're out in the woods? Um, I feel calm and I feel like that there's no distractions around me and no demands around me. Okay. And we don't normally go hiking in the summer. We did get caught in the rain one time. But do you like hiking in the summer or in the fall better? I like hiking in the fall. Why? Because it's a, le a lot cooler than the summer. And what else don't we have? We don't have bugs. We don't we have don't, as many bugs, right? We don't have many bugs. Right. And then what was the next question I wanted to ask why you? Why I'm wearing orange. Yeah. Tell us why you're wearing orange today in October. It's hunting season. Right. It's not because she wants to look like a pumpkin, <laughs> right? It's hunting season. But have we heard any gunshots today? No. Nope, we haven't. I was out here last weekend and I heard some gunshots, but we still want to wear bright colors. So I'm wearing fluorescent pink and she is wearing bright orange, right? Yeah. Anything else you want to tell these people? What if somebody was thinking about coming out here to do a hike and they've never done it before? Is this a safe place to go? Do you feel safe out here? Yes, I feel safe. Yeah. And do we ever see a lot of people out here? No. Nope. Have you seen any animals out here yet since you've been out here with me? No. Well, nope. I saw a deer one time. One time, right? So we don't see a lot, but they're out here. So, well, Ellie, look at the camera and say hi. Hi. And thank you so much for letting me interview you. Always go hiking with a buddy. That's right. That's don't good advice. Don't go by yourself. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, well, we have decided to carry on and we're gonna to go to Ellis Ford and then we'll probably turn around and come back. So let's go, girl. Taking the lead. Well, we're coming up to, we have 1.1 miles to go to Ellis Ford. And I believe we should be hitting a campsite pretty soon. We'll, we'll take another short break. Okay, this is level, and the blue blaze is about eye height with me. Just to give you an idea of the descent here. No, we're not there yet. No, we've got 0.7 to go. Oh, you can go that way to the right for a camp zone, Chapman's camp zone. Maybe we'll do that on the way back. But you take a left here and then you could accidentally go the wrong way if you didn't pay attention to those arrows right there. You go up these stairs and continue on. And I think we are right now According to my watch at 4.27 and we go to five miles so we're getting there okay, we're at Taylor's Overlook look at that wow that is so pretty mm -hmm. and they have it fenced off just to protect people and stop people from going down there and then you got a nice bench here that you can sit at 
take a break and just enjoy the scenery. Good job, Al. Slow and steady wins the race. Yes, ma'am. Well, we have made it. We're going to head out over by the road for a second, have a seat, and then come back this way. Way to go, Ellie. Now we got five miles to go back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is where the trail forks and you can go down to um, Chapman's campsite. So we're going to go this way instead of up there and head down to the campsite. Yeah. Here is the Chapman campsite. Absolutely beautiful. Well, we have two and a half miles left and we are gonna stop at the last campsite to make that spaghetti if Ellie's still up for it. So it definitely has gotten warmer, but now we're seven and a half, seven and a half miles in. So we're doing good. You know, I was thinking in a year from now, I will be doing all my prep work to get ready for the Appalachian Trail. So I only have one more season of watching other AT, AT Appalachian Trail through hike attempt uh, hikers uh, make their journey. And, uh, and then it will be me. I can't believe it's already here. So with that, you know, every time I go hiking, I think about my gear and what changes I still want to make. I think I have the tent I want and my backpack, I hope. I haven't tried it yet, but um, I'm hoping that it works out. It's a Durston, um, 40 liter, I think. Um, but I think I'm gonna change out my quilt and maybe my sleep pad. And I haven't decided on my cook system yet, but I think everything else I have pretty much dialed in. Oh, and my shoes. I have gone through a plethora of different types of shoes um, to hike in to try to figure out which ones I want to use. So my biggest issue is I'm having some foot pain and um, some of the shoes come up too high on my ankle bones and that is really uncomfortable. So trying to find a pair that don't do that is where my challenge is. So anyways, those are some of the things I think about when I'm out here on the trail and uh, just getting excited. I'm sad that this season is coming to an end, but so glad that as this group is ending, their um, adventures on the AT and summiting on Kentaden, that um, new 2023 hikers are making their official statement that they'll be doing the Appalachian Trail in 2023. And they're starting to put out all their videos like their big threes and um, the whys, why they're doing it and all that stuff. So it uh, has been a nice transition. So kind of crazy though that, you know, I'll have one more year of watching everybody else and then it's my turn to step up and step on the trail. So it's exciting, a little nervous, a little nervous, I can't even talk, a little nervous, but just as excited. So we'll see. Well, we have less than half a mile to go and we did not stop for spaghetti. It's a little warm. And I think Ellie is just too hot right now to enjoy spaghetti. So 
We're going to save it for a chillio day. Here she comes, the hiker of the day. Ellie, the crowd goes wild. Wow. <laughs> All those miles. Would you do it again? Yes. Yes. I will. What a I champ. Will. What a champ. Hey there. We are almost done with this trail. We're less than a half a mile away. And we decided not to stop and make spaghetti. It's just way too warm out here today. It's too hot out here. Yes. So we're going to save it for another day. Try to get out here on a chilly day. And... Um, and do that so we're just heading back to the car now um, and that will complete our 10 mile hike for the day um, we're both feeling good except ellie's calves are a little bit sore um, but she has been a trooper and uh, it's been a beautiful day to be out here so thanks for joining us and uh, <laughs> her legs are tired Yep, that's right. She had us a good kind of tired because she needed to get the workout in. So there you have it. We'll see you at the end of the trail. Yeah, yeah.